Welcome back. Mike Eppel with a week off. Chris McCusker, the lovely Chris McCusker, joining us now from the 680 Business Center. Good morning to you, Chris. Good morning. You're lovely as well, by the way. Aren't you so sweet? Aren't you so <laughs> kind? You, should, you can stay. Forget okay. Mike Eppel. You okay. can stay. I'm kidding. Okay. Uh, we, we tease the lucky charms. We're going to get to that in a little bit because yes. there are so many questions. But let's I begin know. with Wall Street, shall we? Okay, so maybe we're going to see new records on Wall Street again today, Mel. Maybe not. Uh, futures markets not really signaling any big moves, at least so far. The S&P and the NASDAQ did close at records yesterday. Uh, and we are just ahead now of the annual Jackson Hole Summit. So investors will be keeping an eye on that. We are also hearing that China is planning to buy a great deal of soybeans from the U.S. in 2020. So that's sort of adding to the optimism around relations between the U.S. and China, improving at least somewhat. Uh, the price for oil this morning very close to a five-month high, and you just mentioned it in the last couple of minutes. Hurricane Laura now getting very close to the U.S. Gulf Coast. Potentially, it could inflict $18 billion in damage along the Texas-Louisiana border and potentially closing refineries for months. We are hearing that Laura could make landfall late tonight or early tomorrow. So not a ton of movement in oil so far today. Uh, maybe people taking sort of a wait and see approach before making any big moves with this. Sure, in the days to come, definitely we'll be watching that. Mm -hmm. uh, I know you're keeping your eye on the big banks, uh, already yes. starting to report some earnings. We got some yesterday, and today, who do we have? Uh, today, we just heard from Royal Bank, and bear with me here, I'm just going through these numbers. Earnings per share worked out to $2.20 versus $2.22 a year ago. Revenue was up by 12% over the same period last year. And the provision for loan losses at RBC, $675 million. That was actually below expectations. The bank also declared a dividend. Now, yesterday we heard from BMO and Scotiabank, mixed results from those two. In the next half hour, we're going to hear from National Bank. Uh, and again, these loan loss provisions, that's really the number that investors and economists, for that matter, are going to be watching. This is to deal with bad loans. As we are still in the middle of this uh, pandemic, and there's not really been... Um, I guess the rubber meeting the road, so to speak, yes. as of yet. With CERB still in place, we talked about this yesterday, but uh, banks being really cautious just in case. Right. Uh, finally, we've <laughs> got to talk about the Lucky Charms. Yes. They are magically delicious. We were, uh, we were thinking about that. I, I, it, it, that's taking me back to my childhood. I remember I sifting through that cereal, getting those marshmallows, and I was so proud of myself. Mm -hmm. it, well, it, it sounds like you like the challenge. That sounds <laughs> I did. You know, it was legit. Fun. So now they're selling just pouches of marshmallows, no cereal. I don't know about this. The challenge is gone for you, right? It, that's just sugar. It's a pouch yeah. of sugar. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, now, the cereal maker, General Mills, will sell these pouches of just magical marshmallows only in the, <laughs> in the U.S., though, best I can tell. I've done a, a pretty uh, 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 extended search, and it looks like it's only going to be in the U.S. It's a limited edition, six-ounce packets, which feature all eight of the marshmallow charms. Uh, people already chiming in on social media with one saying, I've been waiting all my life for this. You know, but here's the thing. Now that you have it, you, are you going to really want it? It, it? It's part of the fun and the challenge to be able to get the cereal, get the marshmallows. And, and now that you're just given the marshmallows, yeah, it's that's like, true. It's, now it's, what? It's like being handed a prize without exactly. doing anything. Now for what's it. next? Yeah. Yeah, All well. right. A bigger pouch is what it is. All right, Chris, <laughs> thank you for that. Okay, have a good day. Thank you. You too, Devo.